My name is Brandon Woolwine, and I'm doing my PowerPoint on sustainable si uh, cities for my urban public issues class. First of all, what is sustainable cities? It is a city designed with consideration of environmental impacts inhabited by people dedicated to minimization of required inputs of energy, water and food and waste output of heat, air pollution, CO2 emissions, methane, and water pollution. Many of these cities don't use their energy efficiently, and of the 84% that energy that's produced is wasted, and 43% of that is unnecessarily wasted, which I'll discuss here in a little bit. There are four principles developed by Swedish scientists and environmentalists in the early 1900s. It, they are reduce fossil fuels, reduce dependence on synthetic chemicals and other natural unnatural substances, reduce encroachment upon nature, land, water, wildlife, forests, and soils, and better meet the human needs fairly and efficiently. Many communities in Europe and Sweden have already transitioned to these principles. Sustainable cities. A sustainable city is a compressed city which is easier to access the city by foot or bike instead of cars and renewable resources are a main source of energy. Also, if a sustainable city produces more of its own resources instead of importing or using other countries' resources. Simple changes. There are many things that we could do to help live in a more sustainable environment. Of the 43% of energy wasted that I mentioned earlier, there are a few ways that you can decrease the percentage. One way is to change your light bulbs to the fluorescent bulbs, which will use less energy and produce, produce more heat. Another way is to stop driving gas guzzling vehicles and use more hybrid cars instead. Even though they are more expensive, they are a whole lot better for the environment. Next, less cars. In the United States, we are too dependent on oil and cars. Of the total crude oil produced in 2009, the United States used 23% of all that oil. Most of our cities are too large to be able to walk to get to our destinations without cars, which a sustainable city would make this much easier. Culture and customs. Many Americans are too reliant on cars and other luxuries that affect the environmentally negative. Negatively, many are used are so used to the lifestyle that they have grown up in that they don't realize how it is affecting the environment. Most of America has transitioned away from producing their own food and goods to just buying it from other countries and markets. Go on to food. One way to become a more sustainable city is to produce your own food. Much of the food that is bought from the market is imported from other countries for two reasons. One reason being the product is out of season in the United States and another is cheaper to import than to try and grow it the same amount on the US soil. Next, renewable resources. A way to become a more sustainable city is to make the transition from non-renewable resources to renewables. Currently only 7% of the total energy produced in the United States is from renewables. Transness Transitioning to the renewables will be a whole lot better for the environment instead of using the fossil fuels that we currently use. Sustainable cities. Eventually changes are going to have to be made in order to improve the damage that has been done to the environment. Better to start now rather than wait for the environment to become even more damaged. Many cities have a long way to go to become a sustainable city 